Hey everyone, I'm Angela. Welcome to Silver Linings. Listen, I know that this is not my best look, but she might be your best look. Stay tuned. I'm going to talk about this right here, right now on Silver Linings. Now let's get acquainted with Quartzide Waves. Today's focus is on Quartzide Waves by Hairdo. I hope you'll hang in with me through this review because I wasn't sure if I was really going to like her. But somewhere in the middle of the review, you'll see I made friends with her. And I think she really is a wonderful, affordable option for you. Yes. You know, everybody doesn't have the budget for a three, four, five, six, seven hundred dollar wig. But maybe you want something with a little bit of length. And I think that this could fit the bill. If you're just willing to, when you get her out of the box, take her out of the box. Don't do what I did. Take her out of the box well before you're going to wear her. Let her relax. Get yourself some Simply Styling Spray. I'll drop a link below. Don't use too much or it will look greasy and stringy. You, a little bit goes a long way. A couple of squirts on your hand. Rub it through the fibers of the hair because the fibers are very dry. And I think that you, you might have a wig that... That you, that you really will love. Now the first thing that I want to tell you about Quartzide Waves is they included care instructions with this wig and um, they say do not comb or brush and of course the very first thing that I want to do is comb this thing out but it says not to do it and um, only use your fingers to style when the hair is completely dry. Okay and then they go on to tell you what else to do with the wig. She is a medium length. They're calling it a style that is um, waves for days. And you can smooth her out. You can tuck her behind the ears. Uh, she has these true to life heat-friendly synthetic fibers that you can change the curl pattern. You can straighten her out. I probably would do something with the curl pattern. She is, what do I want to say? It's not a ton of hair, but it looks like there's more hair than there is. You could pretty much part her wherever you feel like, like you'd like to, but her style is long, it's beachy, it's wavy. Don't rake a comb through her unless you want to ruin the waves. She's very flat in terms of her color. There's not a lot of dimension here. You can see uh, she's got virtually no shine to her at all. I've got the hair light behind me and you know so you can maybe see some shine but that's coming from the lamp. She's flat. Um, very flat and I would not call her silky either. She's not silky she is, she's just got a lot up here, and she also has permatease here. I do like these, these soft waves right here. I think they're very nice. This front piece here is 12 inches long, and then the crown down is 13 inches. The sides are 10 and 3 quarters. This, um, and then the back, the nape is 9 inches. So let's see what happens if we take this piece right here and just kind of pull that back and then I can take that barrette and put that barrette right into one of the wefts in the back I'll do a spin for you Now, I don't know what you're seeing, if you're seeing any yellow towards the bottom of the wig, because in my monitor, it, it almost looks a little yellow, but it's not. It's not yellow at all. And as I've said before, the longer I have this on my head, the more I'm becoming friends with it. I do, however, think that, that this wig would be hot in the summertime because of how she's constructed the cap, uh, the permatease. Look at the barrette here. I think that looks very nice and you could pull it back from the other side as well. If you're seeing any yellow, there is no yellow at all 
in this wig. It's a true silver gray wig. More gray than silver, but not a drab gray. It's a it's it's a nice gray. It just doesn't have a it just doesn't have a lot of dimension in the fibers. Okay, so what I did was I just have a, a little hairpin here that I just I'll show you how I did that. I just no, I don't think it's a bad idea to comb this part right here. Just smooth this one piece out just a little bit. And then I'm just going to pin that piece back. I'm just going to pop that pin right into the top of the wig and then pull that hair down. So I think that gives it a more realistic look. It's pretty good at the hairline. But that gives you an idea what you could do with her. And those waves are really, really sweet. I would probably pull out some of my own bio hair, pull it up over, and incorporate it in. And that might give it a little bit more believability at the hairline. So I pulled out that one piece. Let me see if I pull back the whole thing. Yeah, see? So I would have to take some it stays because there's there's the wig. I would have to take some it stays and make sure that that piece right there is glued down so it's more believable when the wind blows. But I would probably wear it like this with uh, just that barrette on the side and maybe just pick this piece up a little bit more. And I think that that would be good for styling for styling. But those waves are in there and as long as you don't comb them out, honestly, the longer I have her on, <laughs> happens so many times, everyone. The longer you have a wig on, you have to kind of zhuzh it and look at it and play with it. And and um, so I kind of laughed in the beginning, but toward the middle or somewhere around the end, I'm usually starting to make friends with the wig. Make friends with the wig! But, of course, you could take her and you could pick her up, put her up on your head, bring her back. Let's take a look at the inside cap construction for Quartzide Waves by Hairdo. You can see she's got a lot of tracks there, open wefted. But the top, I am seeing some quite a bit of permatees there. She has the Velcro adjusters. She has open ear tabs with metal stays in them. She has an extended nape covered in felt. And she is not a lace front. She is a machine made front at the hairline there. Look how cute she looks with a hat. Now that's really cute. You could throw this wig on and go out to the store, go out to a baseball game, tuck her behind your ears, smooth her down. She looks cute pulled back. So the moral of the story, everybody, is when you take the wig out of the box, and if you're new to wigs, if you're not new to wigs, well, if you're not new to wigs, you know what I'm talking about is true. If you've bought enough wigs, you know. Sometimes when you take that wig out of the box and you put it on your head, you're like, oh, no. But then after you wear the wig a while, you start to learn how to work with it. You've just got to take your time. Not every wig is the kind of wig where you're going to put it on your head right out of the box. This wig as I've said already before, 
this wig is growing on me and I can see where I would wear it, how I would use it, especially at the price point. So I hope that that helps you. Just take your time with your wig when you get it home. Don't panic. Just put it on your head. Do your best to arrange it. Just walk around your house. Just make sure you do it when nobody's around so you, don't, you won't feel funny and make friends with the wig. Now, most of the time that's enough. Sometimes you'll have to send it back, but most of the times you'll find that if you work a little bit with it, it will work. I'm so glad you joined me today, and if you're still here, that you hung in with me. If you like, give it a like, hit the little bell icon, and subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to always look for the silver lining, everybody. Bye-bye.